supply is uh, extremely difficult. The family is really poor, you know, like we have to fight hard, we have to work hard to find food to survive for day and day. I was 12 years old, so I get separated from my mom and dad. You know, so it's really difficult. It's not every day that you would think about a custodian or even talk to one. Hello. So I'm going to tell one last story, the story of Sean Kim. Sean was born in Cambodia and grew up in the height of its communist regime. After trying to escape the constant chaos and war for years, Sean finally made it to California where he met a former PV High custodian. No, if you interest a job at the school district, you know, he will help me out. As long as you do the right thing, you know, here in the United States, your life is going to be lived beautiful. I can say almost like paradise. Sean was quickly hired as night custodian, and he searched and searched for that paradise, but still couldn't quite find it. PV High's head custodian soon retired, and Sean desired a change from the night to the day. I applied for it. We all thought it was a, a slam dunk. During that time, they required to do the test. I don't understand, you know, and I failed the test. How many times have you seen someone smile yeah, about that. failing a test? Sean's enthusiasm speaks for itself. I keep studying hard and I apply again. Here you go. I get the job. So I'm so happy here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> My country, I don't have a chance to go to school, so this is my second home. You know, I love it. I love school, you know. Almost every time you talk to him, he says, uh, I love you, brother. You know, that's just, just his way, and that's how he rolls. I have days where I'm like, oh, I'm tired, you know, I don't want to be here. I've never heard that from him. Yeah. Um, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. It's hard work, but, you know, part of my job, you know, if they make a mess, I got it clean, you know, that's why I get a job for, you know, so it's good to be here, man. <laughs> Well, it's about that time. It's time to say goodbye. I've been so lucky to be able to share stories like Sean's and many others, but I truly could not have done it without my Seeking family. This is an incredible and inspiring group of people. So Sean, it's been an honor to share your story, so thank you. So for the very, very last time, I'm Maximilian Stafford, live from 205. And that's it. That's the very last one.